All right, welcome everybody. So in this video, we are going to define what a characteristic polynomial is for a matrix and what a characteristic equation is for a matrix and how these are gonna be useful at helping us find and identify eigenvalues for a matrix. So let's begin with the following example. Let's say we have a two by two matrix A whose first column is zero minus six and the second column is one five. And we would like to find the eigenvalues of this matrix, which we typically denote with the Greek letter lambda. So let's review some ideas that we've discussed so far um, this semester. So by definition, um, an eigenvalue would be any scalar value lambda such that the matrix equation AX is equal to lambda X has a non-trivial solution. So that this equation is always going to have a trivial solution. If X is equal to zero, then both sides would equal zero. But we want to see if this equation has a non-trivial solution. So we uh, rearrange this matrix equation into the following form, where we can think about this as looking at whether the equation A minus lambda times the n by n identity matrix um, times the vector x equals the zero vector. When does this, this equation have a non-trivial solution? So these two bullets are identical. And so this equation has a non-trivial solution, recall, only if the matrix A minus lambda I is not invertible. If this matrix is invertible, that means it's full rank and we only have a trivial solution. So we wanna find values of lambda so that this matrix A minus lambda I is not invertible. And recall that one way to determine whether a matrix is invertible or not is to look at the determinant of that matrix. And so if the determinant is equal to zero, then the function, or excuse me, the matrix is not invertible. And if the determinant is not equal to zero, then we know a matrix is invertible. So in this case, we want this matrix A minus lambda I to not be invertible. So finding eigenvalues for this matrix A is equivalent to determining for what values of lambda is the determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero. Now this is the scalar zero because when we take the determinant of a matrix, we get a scalar back. So this gives us a way of identifying eigenvalues of a matrix. So let's see how we could apply this thinking to solve this problem where we wanna find the eigenvalues of matrix A. So first we can set up this equation where we wanna calculate the determinant of A minus lambda I. So we've got the determinant, our matrix A again, had first column zero minus six and second column one five. And then we subtract from this matrix, lambda times the identity matrix, which is just gonna give us lambdas on the main diagonal and zeros off of the main diagonal. And so we can subtract these two matrices term by term and that would give us the matrix um, whose first column is zero minus lambda minus six, and the second column is one, five minus lambda. So essentially we are subtracting lambda from the entries on the main diagonal of matrix A, and we are not doing anything to the entries off of the diagonal since we're subtracting zero um, from those entries. And so now we have a two by two matrix, so we can go ahead and calculate the determinant by taking the product of the entries on the main diagonal, which would be zero minus lambda times five minus lambda. And then we subtract from that the product on the, of the entries uh, on the off diagonal, which would be in this case a one times a minus six. So then we can simplify this, equa um, this expression and we get a quadratic uh, polynomial here, a degree two polynomial that looks like lambda squared minus five lambda plus six. And this polynomial, this quadratic that we found as a result of looking at this condition, when is the determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero, this resulting quadratic is what we call the characteristic polynomial for this matrix. 
And when we try and solve this equation, when is the determinant of lambda minus i equal to zero, where we're gonna set this characteristic polynomial equal to zero and solve that resulting equation for lambda. Okay, so let's define some of these important terms that came up in that previous example where we were trying to find the eigenvalues of this two by two matrix A, uh, which column one is zero minus six and column two was one five. So we set up the condition to find out when is the determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero because when this matrix uh, is not invertible, that's when the equation that gives us the conditions for being an eigenvalue are gonna be satisfied, that we're gonna have a non-trivial solution. So uh, this resulting equation, when we set the determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero, that is called the characteristic equation of matrix A. And the left side of that equation, just the expression that we get when we evaluate the determinant of A minus lambda I, that is called the characteristic polynomial of A. So for a two by two matrix, that was a quadratic polynomial. For a three by three matrix, we'll see the polynomial is gonna be degree three. And for an N by N matrix, the polynomial is gonna have degree N. And so we find eigenvalues by setting the characteristic polynomial equal to zero. That's what's called the characteristic equation. And then finding values of lambda that will satisfy the characteristic equation. So lambda is gonna be an eigenvalue of A if and only if it satisfies the characteristic equation, if and only if it is a root of this characteristic equation. So finding eigenvalues, we've now reduced this question to uh, factoring a quadratic equation in the case of a two by two matrix. And in particular, for this example, the characteristic equation, we can factor this into lambda minus three and lambda minus two is equal to zero. And we can see here that we have two roots to this characteristic equation, three and two. So that tells me this matrix A has two eigenvalues. One of them is three and one of them is two.